Born Standing Up. Steve Martin wrote this book called Born Standing Up. It's an excellent book, highly recommended for any creators. I never really knew much about Steve Martin. Very little, really. When I would travel to Bangladesh, I'd be stuck in the plane for hours. To go from Florida to Dhaka would take 20 plus hours. In the plane, there would be a lot of movies playing. A lot of those movies would be Steve Martin movies. Routinely, I would skip over those movies. For some reason, I never gave Steve Martin a chance. As I read his book, I came to respect Steve more and more. He grew up in a moderately stable household. Why do you say moderately stable? Because although he did have his family, some of the bonds were soured. One bond that was soured was with his dad, a failed actor who took out a lot of aggression on Steve. Steve made a comment that a poor childhood often leads you to the arts. That's what led to his comedic journey. What baffled me was the work that he put in. Ten years working on his craft of comedy. Four years refining his craft. And four years in massive success. He said those four years of success were a blur. I would imagine that to be the case. Imagine you put in work for 14 years to finally get your big break. A break that makes others think that you rose overnight. I like reading books like this because it gives me perspective of the bigger picture. How the grind should never be skipped. The beauty about our era is that we can see people in their come up. We can see their repetitions. I sometimes go through my Twitter feed, YouTube feed, and Instagram feed and see so many talented people. Where will these people be 14 years from now? The sad truth is many will have passed away. A dark truth. Another sad truth is that many won't have met their potential. Only a few will meet the expectations that they set on themselves. Why is this sad? Because I use the word few. The highlight reel is a real thing. As I go through my feed, I see a lot of potentially talented people. On the flip side, I see a lot of people trying to take shortcuts, promising quick success. Dualities always exist. I like the come up, and I respect others who put their reps in. The mental discipline, emotional resilience, and work ethic to keep showing up over and over is nothing to be scoffed at. Especially when you wake up in the morning, the mouth is dry, your head hurts, body feels very hot. Today, you're sick. But still, you got a job to do. It's very inspiring to me. What I've learned to do as I get older is view others' experience from their lens. Doesn't matter how logical they are. For them to put in 14 years of work without any sign of potential success shows that they had faith in themselves. Where did that faith come from? Why did you believe in yourself when you were doing shows in front of no one? which was the case for Steve Martin. There was a section in the beginning of the book where the promoter told Steve to do a show. Steve said no one was at the venue. The promoter said, Exactly. That's why I want you to perform, so people walking outside our club will see a performance is going on and they will hopefully enter. A guy being used as a prop. Well, that's a part of the grind. Slow and steady builds a lot of micro-muscles that fast success can never give. It tests character, tests a love for the game, and tests how well someone will rise over and over again. I haven't watched much Steve Martin movies, but I always respect greatness. The world of arts is one of the toughest fields to rise in. It's because the field is so subjective. It's not a win-or-lose game like sports. Steve proved with his work ethic why he was born standing up. That's how faith is cultivated. A part of you knows that this is what you were meant to do. The outside circumstances don't make sense yet. But you keep holding on to that word. Yet.
Yet is the word that will strengthen faith when everything seems to be falling apart. I haven't seen much success. Yet. The twin brother of yet is for now. Another tool to cultivate belief in oneself. Damn, man. I keep taking loss after loss. For now. This may be a cliched message, but always put in reps to believe in yourself. So many concepts out there for confidence, creativity, and intellect. But that doesn't mean anything without that belief. Even when the world scoffs at you, pat yourself on the back. There's a pull in the chest saying that this is what you were meant to do. Steve Martin grinded for 14 years for his break. And ultimately, he proved to be a success.